ready. To cheers as fiance. Fiance. <laughs> I love you. I love you. Uh, we are so excited to announce that we are officially engaged. We are officially <laughs> engaged, guys. I finally did it. <laughs> Um, it's been in the back of my mind forever and ever. I mean, to be honest, since I've met you. Oh, but, stop. you know, <laughs> we'll get into why did it happen sooner? Why did it happen years ago? Why, you know, why why now? Yeah. But we'll get into that in a bit. Uh, my whole life changed overnight, guys. That's all I'm going to say is that things just completely changed. And first and foremost, we are just so overwhelmed with happiness and joy so much emotion. I can't even express to you how this last week has been since it happened. Um, there's a lot of like, you know, being engaged. If you guys have been engaged, you understand how we feel right now, the happiness. Yeah. We're over the moon, we're excited, we're just planning our future now, like in a different perspective. And honestly, like getting engaged and you know, at first I thought about it as like, I'm finally gonna say it to the love of my life. I'm finally gonna tell her, I finally am gonna do it. You know, but you know, you just focus on that. And you don't realize like what really comes after, like whether it be with friends, all the love that you get with friends, all the love that your family gives you right after. Like I didn't really think about that. I, I and, didn't like, know it would be so and, emotional. And like all the love that you guys have have given us, it's been crazy. I've been a nonstop like crying. Here I go. <laughs> I need to show that light. Look at. Um, it's been crazy, like the non-stop support and just love that we've always had sorry, like throughout the past couple days has been <sighs> crazy like i've never i didn't think about that when i was telling myself in my head hey you know you're ready hey go look for a, you know a ring hey <sighs> what kind of diamond hey you're gonna tell her dad and her mom hey i'm gonna tell my mom Hey, let's plan let's plan all this shit out. There's just so much happiness um, that we feel, like I, like you said, from friends and family and you guys, and um, also us. Like we've been together for 11 years. For those of us who don't know, and honestly, this was our journey. This is our like love story of how we got here, and I'm so happy. And I feel like now that we're in this place right now, I feel like it was the perfect timing. It was the perfect time for us. Um, cause we've accomplished a lot in these years being together yeah. as a couple, as even like work partners, as best friends, you know, we see each other as a soulmate and we've done so much together that I, I wouldn't have had it any other way. And it came in such a special time and special way. Super it random, right? I had no idea, but I have been, as you guys can see, an emotional wreck. I've cried so much. I cry every day. If something hits me, it's like I'm a lot more emotional, and I just see Sebas in a different way now. I'm oh, sorry. I see my fiance now <laughs> in such a different way um, that I've ever seen him before. Like, you guys know I've always loved Sebastian, so my fiance. <laughs> <laughs> my name is still Sebastian. <laughs> you guys know I've loved him so much, and we've been with him for so long, but. I view him now in a completely different way. And if you've been engaged or you are married, I'm sure you can completely understand. Cause I never understood this until it happened, but it's taken us a couple days to process everything. And we wanted to film this sooner, but we were honestly soaking in all, all the love each from other. each other, um, just each other, our families. Um, Cause this has really changed a lot for both of our families too. We're the first one being married. Yeah on our side, like Sebastian's yeah. getting married, I'm the first one getting married out of my siblings as At well. our immediate family. Yeah, immediate family that is. And this is such a special moment. And of course us together, like everything just just yeah. means so much. Like you guys have no idea, like truly how much this has changed my life and Sebastian's life. And we're just so happy to start this new chapter together and bring you guys along the way. So we wanted to talk about, uh, or share with you guys the proposal story because it's really meaningful. <laughs> Oh my god. This is me all day. I've been crying since Sunday. I'm just so happy, guys. Like, I'm happy tears right now. Oh, why did I even do my makeup? This is stupid. <laughs> At least you look cute crying. Thanks. <laughs> so, pretty much, I feel like we should kind of back, start with kind of our relationship, how we got together and stuff. So, yeah. we met in two... I'll kind of do a brief summary of it, but we met in 2009 on a party bus, for those of you guys who don't know. So, we met in 2009 at the end, like, end of October. 
and then started dating officially in January, uh, January 5th to be exact, 2010. And you know, we've, we had a pretty fun really, I mean, our whole relationship has always been really fun, really exciting. Um, Sebastian was, is so different than me. Like when we first met, I'm like, dude, this guy is like fun. He likes to go out and this and that. So it was like a whole new life to me. And we always had such a good relationship. But keep in mind, like I was 21, Sebastian was 19. We met in a time where our lives were like all like brand new. It's fun. Uh, she just got out of a relationship. I just got out of, relation, out of a relationship um, as well. Um, and it was just meeting somebody new. It was just so exciting. It was so fun. I feel like it went by so fast, but once we hit like year four, we were like, oh shit, it's been four years. This is crazy. And you know, the, the thought of getting engaged didn't come to mind because at this point, I still live at home. He still lives at home. Uh, we don't really have any money. We're just kind of like living paycheck to paycheck. Enjoying our relationships, you know, when we have extra money, we go out, you know, to dinner. Or we were just so young and having so much fun, and just like in a really good place together. Um, even though like we weren't like, I mean, we didn't have any money, we couldn't really do much. We did what we could for each other, and we always were like in a good place. And I feel like things really got serious, serious when we decided in 2015 that we should move to LA. And at that point, it was scary because at this point, Sebas is doing hair. Yeah, I'm like growing on my Instagram like crazy and traveling and doing so many things that there was just a lot going on and I felt like it would make it better for us to move in versus not living together. We've been through a lot. We've been through a lot. <laughs> <laughs> and like that sounds really dramatic, but we, we yeah, okay. But not like bad a lot, like just, we've been through everything. And now that we're in this place, I'm like, I would have not had my life with anyone else but him because Thank we you. really have been there for each other uh, in every way possible. And it, this is, I feel like, like I said, him proposing this Sunday, it was just the perfect timing where I feel like my life's complete right now. I feel like everything's perfect and I would not want to have it any other way. I guess we kind of want to tell you guys just a quick little background yeah. on what made us get to where we are now and maybe I guess why I chose to propose now. We get the constant question of, El año pa cuando? When do you propose? And people don't realize that proposing yeah. is a, it's a big deal. It's a big deal to propose to someone and ask them to marry you and there's a lot that goes behind it that I feel like maybe you guys don't know or uh, maybe you guys have questioned like, you know, what's going on and meanwhile, like we're over here planning for our future and yeah. growing and hustling and working and focusing so much. At the end of the day, we always knew we wanted to marry each other. We always knew that getting married and proposing was going to happen and yeah. having a future and kids, but the timing that is ideal to a lot of people of like the two to three year mark was it for us because and during that two to three year mark we were struggling our lives. we were broke we were trying to figure it out you know for ourselves and there's just a lot that we wanted to focus on first before making this big commitment 100%. even though we knew deep down that we wanted to be with each other forever now that we're here i wouldn't have it any other way and i wouldn't have changed a date and i think this is like the most perfect time for both of us yeah and we're, we're so ready to start this new chapter you guys have no idea like just how happy we are so now that you guys kind of have an idea of our journey and kind of just our background, because I think it's so nice to kind of know a little bit about it, just to know that no one's perfect and everybody has their own like paths to go in. Um, I'm sure you guys are curious to know about the proposal, how it went down yeah. and how amazing it was, because honestly, I would have never known this was going to happen. I I honestly like had no idea. Like there, there was no that way. That was the goal. He was so good about this. Wasn't nervous. Yeah. There was no red flags. Not one red flag that was like it's happening. Um, I was nervous when I told you, but for me doing it, it wasn't really being nervous. It was, I'm ready and I'm super excited. I mean, when I got the ring, I wanted to tell her right then and there, yeah. but I knew I had to wait till the day I had it planned. So, anyways, rewind. Back maybe four or five months ago. Um, is when I started manifesting it and you know I had the funds I was ready I finally was like let's go um, but it was a little tricky because me living with Karen for already what five years is it six years five maybe years, five yeah. six almost six years um, Karen knows every single fucking thing I do <laughs> um, I don't hide anything from Karen I tell her what I do she knows where I'm at there's no escaping Karen which is totally fine because that's how I want it to be. That's how we want it to be. Um, and it was so hard because I'm like, okay, what are we going to do? 
it's during COVID, so everything is closed. And then recently in Los Angeles, it really got closed down again. But I always told myself at the end of the day, it's about proposing to the love of my life and finally pulling the trigger. Let's rewind a couple months prior. We went to Cancun. I'm Cabo. sorry, Cabo. And uh, I think Karen thought I was gonna propose to her. I did. In our trip. Sorry guys, I had actually my makeup off. I had streaks running down my face. And I'm like, you know what, What's, what was the point of even wearing makeup? So we were talking about <laughs> Cabo, right? So here's definitely something that I guess nobody knows, right? No one knows the conversation that happened yeah. in Cabo, but we're gonna tell you guys right now. Karen's birthday was in August, and for her birthday, I got us tickets to go to Cabo. I got us a trip. Um, and I just really wanted to spend time with her. I love getting things like that for Karen. I love having memories with her. So, you know, we go to Cabo or whatever, and getting closer to the date, I start realizing, like, fuck, like, <laughs> does Karen think I might propose, you know? And in my head, I'm like, is he gonna propose? Yeah. And the reason I thought that is because Sebastian always told me the day it happens, you'll never know. It, it'll never land on your birthday or on a holiday. It's gonna be like a very random date. And I said, okay, well, he bought me these. He bought the tickets and did everything for my birthday. It's a, But it's not on my birthday. It's yeah. a random weekend. It was no, in October. Like no one going with us. Obviously, it's just me and Sebastian going. So, very like romantic hotel. I was like, oh, I'm getting my nails done. So I went and got my nails done. And I purposely like <laughs> brought on the tip, trip like ivory nude tone dresses. Just in case, and I was like, okay, every dinner I'm gonna go to, I'm gonna like dress up like in new tones just in case and be like camera ready. And uh, the first day we got there, like not even into the trip, the first day, it's actually a wedding on the- Cause I felt it. But there was a wedding on the beach and this couple was taking photos, there was horses and we were kind of watching and we're like, oh, it's so pretty. And then Sebastian goes, oh, I can't wait for us to get married one Yeah, day. I said, I can't wait for us to get married. Um, but what I didn't know is that I perfectly executed like a vacation to propose to Karen in Cabo, but I wasn't. Yeah. <laughs> and I realized that closer to the date. And I was like, damn, I kind of like shot myself in the ass. <laughs> and... So he just wanted to make it very clear that it wasn't happening. Like the first day we were there. And then I was like, I remember... <laughs> I was getting so wait, many DMs too. Wait, 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 so was I. I just remember looking at him and smiling and being like, yeah, I can't wait either. And then I'm like holding back my tears. You guys know the Selena Gomez meme. That was me, I was like, this is... and he's like, what's wrong? And I said, I am so embarrassed to admit this to you, but I really thought you were gonna propose on this trip. I bursted into tears, but more of embarrassment and laughter. And I was like, I even got my nails done. I seriously, babe, like I felt like a douchebag. I felt so- No, 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 you can't. You can't feel like that. I've never all. had that feeling before. And like, now me going back, I felt like I should have thought about it even before so I could propose to you in college. Everyone thought, I think everyone, on social thought and I was getting DMs and I responded to one girl when I was at the airport and I was like, I think so too, I think so too. Oh. <laughs> no, no, no. Me, I was getting DMs too and that's what made me realize like, damn, like I kind of fucked up. Like no. this vacation that I wanted to spend with you, which we had an amazing time. Yeah. But like, that was the first time where I felt fucked. I'm kind of glad he told me that like the first day we got there because I'm like, oh, oh god, thank god I can like relax now and not have to worry about getting ready. I can yeah. be a hot mess now. I'm cool. But that that trip, I for sure thought it was going to happen and then it didn't happen when we came back. I mean, I had the best time. We had so much fun. And then after that, little did I know he had been planning December 13th for who knows how long now. Oh, I mean, it's kind of good that I guess I didn't do it in Kabul because <laughs> it just made it that much more special here. Yeah. We're in corona season and yeah. like the worst ever yeah. here in los angeles and here in the united states uh so that was hard i wanted to do like something with friends have nice dinner you know on the beach or you know whatever i had so many ideas but at the end of the day i just told myself like as long as i do it that's it mm -hmm. i mean damn the initial start was really hitting up my friend and getting the connection to his jeweler and just me talking to her and she gave me such an easy process. Um, so he like pretty much custom designed this whole, yeah. this whole uh, ring based off of a photo I sent him. 
like yeah forever ago, forever ago. that I was like this is the most beautiful ring in the world look how pretty it is yeah and I love the simplicity of it and uh, I mean the one I sent him was like 20 carats <laughs> <laughs> but no, I'm just kidding. You no, know, I, I just remember I, I sent him that inspiration and I was like, oh, this is like the dream ring. It's so pretty. And yeah. he always remembered that. I looked at rings. I found the perfect one. But what was crazy is that right when I was going to pull the trigger on buying it, um, Karen sends me a... a, a <laughs> if you guys don't know, I got Karen a pair ring. And I've known that she likes this. She's she's liked this type of cut for a long time. It's so good, guys. <laughs> and the day before... Literally the day before I have the message to prove it the day before I was gonna pull the trigger on it She DMs me a oval ring and <laughs> with it the gold band like completely it different. completely <laughs> threw me off and as you guys know uh, Ale Chula I hit her up and I said Ale, I don't know what you have to do I don't know what you have to say to Karen, but you need to find out these t uh, these things ASAP for me, please the type of ring she likes what size and does she want diamonds on the band or not? But the diamonds on the band, I didn't really care about that. I just really wanted to know the size and the, the type of shape that you'd like. And postponed the, the, the ring that I had already in mind. And then a couple days later, she comes out with, okay, this is what she wants, this, 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 and that. And it was exactly what I was. And the get. way Ale was able to get me to even answer this is because Ale was like, hey, like she actually reached out to me first uh, telling me that her company for Allery collection was going to be doing like PR for rings and necklaces and jewelry So she just needed like to know what kind of stuff I liked and my ring size and I Never thought to give her my ring finger because I don't ever wear a ring there I always wear it on my index and middle so I was sending her like oh a size a oh a size is keep in mind I'm like a six and a half yeah. on this finger so I sent her that and then later on she sent me Oh my gosh, look at this sponsored post. It just showed up on my feed. It's these engagement rings. And I was like, how weird because I just got the same post on my feed. Little do I know Sebastian had sent her that photo to say like, figure something out how to tell her this. Yeah. And then she was like, yeah, it's crazy because I want to change my rings. What's your favorite style? I don't know what to go with. It was like one of like four options. Didn't put it together because me and Ali always talk about rings and jewelry and stuff. Yeah. Like to be honest with you guys, we're always like talking about that. So I thought she was really trying to upgrade her ring so i'm like oh girl go with this go with this go with that uh so she relayed all this when you guys had that said, conversation yeah, she... i was next door and i heard you say that jesus <laughs> so she relayed all that message to sebas and you know like in my head i'm just thinking this is like i'm just innocently helping her out with yeah. like, a potential ring for herself which was the goal yeah um so ale told me that whatever i was already looking into that was that was it so I felt such a sense of relief because it's not even about like me putting down like the money or whatever to buy it. It was just like, I really, 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 really want Karen to really like her ring. And anyway, so I finally get the ring. And once I get the ring, you know, it's like a week and a half. I told uh, the jeweler said, you'll get it in a week and a half, two weeks. So right then and there, I got to start thinking to myself like, okay, so when am I going to do it? And was I told my mom, I said, hey mom, mom, you know, I just want to let you know that I'm going to propose to Karen. And right when I told her that, like, she was so happy, yeah, like yeah, crazy. Mom's been and she sent me, like... before she said congratulations or anything, she sent me a long text and she was just like, I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud of the man that you've become. And, uh, you know, that's more my privacy or whatever. But she sent me just like the most beautiful text. And, that literally made me feel like I was doing the right thing. And my mom said, what day? And I told her the day and she said, that's the day I'm leaving to Mexico. Or like a day a day before. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, mom, you gotta switch the day. Like yeah. I'll, I'll pay for the, the switch for the aerolinea or whatever. Um, and no, she switched it herself. And um, that's why the next day she went to Mexico because yeah. she was supposed to. Um, yes. Yeah, so once I had the date locked in, I had a couple locations in mind. And once I got the location, thanks to uh, one of our friends that she's, once again, we're not from the Valley. So my friend that is from the Valley, she helped me out with a place and uh, we did some research first and I said, you know what, this place is perfect. Mm -hmm. And um, I mean, dang, there's so much that I can talk about. Once I got the location, I was like, okay, cool. I got the location, I got the day. Now I need to figure out how to get Karen there. 
And once again, I lived with Karen for five, six years already, and she knows everything that I do, so I have to plan some mastermind shit out. So I told one of my friends, I was like, hey, invite us to this park. Don't give the name of the park, because to be honest, if you Google the, the park, it has a, like a lot of like, Wedding. Wedding it, venue. It's, it's, be, it's actually a wedding venue. So once my friends text us, we were going to have a picnic with them on this day at this time, which is what I set up. So I finally got that, and I was so glad that Karen said, yeah, I'm down to go, you know? Because I'm like, we're outside, just yeah, us four. They just perfect. got engaged recently, like two months ago, three months yeah. ago. So we were supposedly going to go have a picnic. So anyway, so another big thing about that day was I needed to get my house set up because... We live here and I wanted to get our backyard really nice and set up and have it really beautiful for Karen because I wanted to go propose, hang out, take pictures, come back and I had to be out of here by 2 o'clock and I'm so surprised that Karen was ready by 2 o'clock. <laughs> that was like the cherry Crazy. on top. <laughs> Once she was ready at 2 o'clock, I knew that today is going to run smoothly. So I messaged my friend, uh, my friend Angie, which uh, I just texted her, I'm like, hey, what are you wearing to, to, uh, to the park? I was like, I don't know what to wear. And she's like, well, I was gonna go casual, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna dress up a little better because it's a really cute park to take pictures at. And I'm like, oh, that's true, I should take some cute photos. So I decided to go like park friendly, but still a little dressed up and not like in tacones either. Cause I didn't know, I was expecting like a park with like grass and stuff, but it was, yeah. Very romantic. It was nothing yeah. like that at all. <laughs> Keep in mind, Tabas wasn't nervous whatsoever. It was very like a normal day. Like I didn't feel anything different at all about that day, um, other than excited to see our good friends and have a picnic and just kind of. Even even the days prior, like I had the ring three four days before I proposed to you, and I I kid you not, I had it in my podcast room, and I know Karen never goes through my stuff. But I knew you weren't going to go through there. <laughs> Porque hay un cochinero or whatever. But I had it for like three, four days already. And um, I would wake up every day. And I know that you were upstairs or like doing stories or something. And I would go downstairs and I'd look at it. And I'm like, fuck, this is crazy. <laughs> when he tells me too that the day that he picked up the ring, that it was like officially done, ready to pick up. He actually had told me he was meeting for something that he's working on for next year. He was going to go meet up to like pick up stuff and samples and whatnot. And come to find out, he actually had gone to hang out with my parents and talk to them and tell them, you know, everything that was going on. They've been together for 10 years. They've lived together for five years. He still pretty much like asked permission, told my family. I just wanted your dad's blessing. That was the most important thing to me. After everything, I asked him. Then it was the first thing he's like, yeah, everyone yeah. knows. It's I had to. Yeah. I love your family. And it would just, I mean, you have to. Like, guys, if you're watching this, I mean, you got to talk to the pops, the mom. Um, it's just a respect thing. Especially, you know, you're going to propose to their daughter. For me, that meant a lot because Sebas could have been like, we've been together for so long. I don't need to do all that. Yeah. But the fact that he still did that show just how much he truly cares you know about me and my family and all that stands like it's so much respect so her dad gave me his blessings and after that <laughs> <laughs> sorry baby did he hit you baby <laughs> so yeah so after i got her dad's blessing i uh i mean i was like bro this is it that's all that's all you need like you checked everything off the list you have the proposal ready you have the ring ready you told her dad and i didn't think i was gonna be that nervous until i got there I also had a photographer there waiting for me, luckily that... Which is why we have photos. Everyone's yeah. asking how we have photos. I had to get a he photographer. Had every, I'm telling you guys, he had everything planned out to the T. To the T. Yeah. I had to get a photographer. Shout out Ricky. Um, he's been a good friend of mine for a while. And it's funny because we never met. We just always followed each other. And I told him if he was down and he was super down. And he took the most amazing pictures. Um, and it's funny because when Everyone I was walking to the location where I was going to propose, Karen asked me, do you feel like this guy is following us? Oh my God, you guys. Because we were supposedly looking for our friends. Yeah, and then I was like, where are they? He's like, I have no service. I'm like, well, I do. I'll call them. He's like, no, 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 I'll call them. And I'm like, okay. I'm like, damn, this is a nice house park. So we're like walking around and he's kind of like starting to make circles. And I'm like, do you know where we're going? And he's like, no, I think it's, no, I think it's this way. And I'm like, 
so you don't know where it's going but you think it's that way got it okay let's go so i'm just following him and i'm like where are we going and he's like look at this isn't this nice and in my head i'm like I, i'm just well i mean i was so amazed with the nature and the beauty that i was like yeah yeah it's so nice but honestly at one point he's like let's go to the there was a little uh, chapel he was to the chapel and i'm like no i don't want to go over there and i didn't realize he was trying to get me out of the area he was going to propose that because there was uh, there was two people breaking branches in there. <laughs> they were ruining it, bro. He was, he was so mad. He was like, oh my God. So we get to this chapel. I take a photo of him. We'll insert the photo right here. He's like, take a photo. And I told him, it's not the vibe right here. I was just killing time. And we're walking back. And at this point, I noticed someone was following us. And keep in mind, I had just met one of my supporters, which if you are here watching this, girl, you saw this moments before I went down. But I remember being like, this and he goes, no. And I'm like, no, he's like really close with the camera and I'm freaking out. Like, and he goes, no, he's a creep. And I was like, and I turned over and I'm like, oh, it's yeah. so close to us. And then. Finally, I saw <laughs> those people leave. Um, it's called a little bamboo forest. Right when I saw those people leave, I said, now was the time. This is it. Yeah. This is it. And I took her inside there. And um, that place where I was um, already at, that place where I knew that I was gonna do it. And um, Ricky came, the photographer, he was on the outs on the outskirts. And um, I started grabbing Karen and I was like, here, stay right here. And I just told her, I have something to tell you. Um, we're not meeting with, with Steven and Angie. I kind of blacked out. You black out with that moment because even me, I don't really remember what we said until we saw a little bit of a video footage that was sent to us. And I felt like at that moment, like she knew what I was about to do. Well, he started shaking. He suddenly gra like grabbed my arms like this. And he was like, and he started shaking. And I was like, and then he's like, I still didn't tell you. And I was like, what? And he's like, Andrew and Steven aren't gonna be here. Right when I started like kind of trembling and shaking and my voice started to crackle a little bit, um, she turns to her left and Ricky's right there recording and she, she looks at him and was like, like right then and there, like I feel like she knew. I feel like I blacked out, like I saw red, you know, but I spilled my love to her and I asked her to marry me at that, at that time. When you're in the moment, it's just like, you just speak from your heart and that's it. It was such a um, a moment in my life that I'll, I'll never forget. And I'm glad that we were able, he was able to capture that moment because it's a one in a lifetime experience and you never want to forget how special it was. After we, I said yes, obviously, and we hugged and everything. We took photos with the photographer and he's like, you know what, while we're here, let's take some photos. Let's let's go around, let's walk around the park. And after we take some photos, some beautiful photos, we get to the car and we, we I feel like we were like in high school, like the way we were talking, like sitting from like, I was sitting in the passenger side like this. Sebas was talking to the passenger for about what, 30, 40 minutes? And I didn't think to check my phone once, not once. And um, once we got in the car, I was like, oh, I should FaceTime my mom. And he's like, no, 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 no. It's just me and you. <laughs> yeah. Just me and you, let's just enjoy it, you know? Because I knew that if she FaceTimed her mom and the mom answered, she would be at my house. So <laughs> he wanted to come back to the house, like, let me just get changed, get comfy, let's get the dogs and we'll go pick up some food. In my head, I'm like, perfect, I'm, I'm happy with that, let's do it. And, uh, I got to my front door, I opened it, and I opened it and everybody was there. And It was a big surprise. And I'm telling you right now, like after all that planning, I was so nervous to like get everything right. I did not want her to expect anything. And um, thank God everything went perfectly. The first person that ran to me was my mom and that was special to me because my mom means so much to me. My dad right after with Abigail and then from there, it was, I immediately hugged his mom. And all those of us wanted it to be a lot more people. It was just the people who really mean the most to us. And just them being here for this was just so special to me. And I didn't realize that there was a whole thing set up outside. Some of us had the She Said Yes balloon. And it, it was just so perfect where I really felt like complete. I have been on cloud nine, guys. Like the overwhelming amount of love that we received is more than I could have ever envisioned. Like I just feel like 
so incredibly loved and we have so many flowers that keep being sent to the house and yeah I, I've never experienced this in my life before it's really amazing so <laughs> you guys I'm so sorry and I'm not pregnant for those wondering you will think I'm pregnant because I'm crying so much but I just don't think you guys understand like how much I, I love Sebastian like I really love him so much and I've always have and I'm so happy that like you know I was I guess patient during this time because when you're with someone for so long you can get you know a sense of like well am I worth it am I capable of being a wife or is that ever gonna happen do they feel the same way like there's so much doubt that can cross your mind when you're like you know waiting for the big question but I'm glad that it happened when it did and everything was so perfect and I'm just so so happy and I keep telling them, I tell them every day I'm the happiest woman like alive. Like I don't think you understand like this changed my life so much and I'm so excited to start this new chapter and plan our wedding and plan everything. There's so much to come. Um, now even some of us like, I'm, I feel so excited to talk about our future more because for the longest time he's like, I've been waiting to do yeah. this. And when I did this, I knew now it was like, okay, now I'll talk about the wedding and babies and all this stuff that we, we want for the future. So there's a lot of, a lot of amazing that's coming. And, and guys, um, this is for my fellas. Like when you propose to your girl, you propose to her because you love her. You want to be with her for the rest of your life. You want to get married. You want to have kids. You want to, you want to do everything. It's your soulmate. But when you, when you get engaged, I don't think, like me, like I didn't realize how many happy doors you open. For example, like your family is just super happy for you. Your friends are super happy for you. Um, being engaged just really opens Amazing. doors to like other things that you just never expected. Um, you just honestly feel so connected to your girl. I'm just so, so excited and we wanted to share the news with you guys because you guys have also been a part of our relationship and sharing it with you guys was really important to us because you guys mean a lot to us. You guys have given us this platform that we're forever grateful for and you know, you guys being a part of it means the world to us. So we felt like it was important for us to share this moment and the way we told our friends, you know, with you guys as well. But we're excited to, to plan a wedding now, which I know the questions now are like, when's a wedding? What's gonna happen? What's next to come? Our goal would be to get married this year coming up, like 2021, but you know, due to COVID, we just don't know if that's uh, if that's really like possible. So we might wait it out to 2022, but it's like in the plan to start making planning and prepping the wedding and seeing where things go. But again, yeah. it just depends on how this year plays out. But if not this year, definitely next year. and. We are, we are so excited to... Regardless, we're like just soaking everything up right now and... We really are. Also, shout out to Sebas for kind of hinting to me to get my nails done as well. I had That was a big thing. <laughs> I hadn't had my nails done since earlier in November. And I had this broken index. Thumb was broken as well. If you guys go to my last IGTV, you'll notice. Or even actually my last video. I had two broken nails or one. I don't remember, but... They're breaking, they were growing out, they were already like not looking good anymore. Because I, were you editing something or you're doing something and you're like... Yeah, I was like, man, like, you sure you want to film with those nails? Like, you sure you want to go get them done? Like, I'll take you. I tried a different spot and they were available like immediately. So I went in and they were like, oh, what are your nails for? And I'm like, oh, just, just whatever, do whatever. And I picked the most prettiest print I could have possibly found. I wanted something a little different. I always go neutral anyways, I never do color. So, um... You know, they were done just in time, but I got them done the day before. Not knowing, me thinking, we're filming, we're filming probably tomorrow, and then we're filming Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, all of oh. our videos for like the year, and... Literally everything just turned out perfectly for me. It really I, did. It was very stressful. <laughs> I think everything went perfectly perfect because I just constantly thought about it. So if you constantly think about something, you'll end up it. getting it just just right. We are planning on doing wedding series pretty much and taking you guys along everything because we want to share it with you guys. You're gonna back vlog, vlog your uh, bachelorette? No, that one is gonna be it. That one is going to be wild. We have Angel preparing the whole bachelorette party. Wow. <laughs> We're thinking Miami, Cabo, or Puerto Rico. So comment down below what you think the girlies should go to. 
it's gonna be a wild one but again we want to wait until just everything kind of gets better we don't really know what's gonna happen next year and with like everything going on with COVID and we just want to make sure everyone's safe and everyone's healthy and that's all we can really do in the meantime we get up and give you guys a close-up of this oh. gorgeous ring This is my beautiful, beautiful ring that I absolutely am obsessed with. It's gorgeous. I love the cuts. I love it. It is a rock. I love everything about it. It's beautiful. And he really, he did that, guys. That was really, really did that with this. <laughs> I really did. So, um, we want to thank you guys for you know being here until right now, the very end, and hearing our story on how our whole relationship's gone down yeah. to now it's a proposal and and um, <laughs> there's gonna be a lot more content coming your way. So yeah. li like uh, Karen said, thank you so much. Um, the feeling that we have is unimaginable. That's it. Yeah. Thank you guys. We'll see you guys next time.